Okay, and we're here. I also raise my mic so if it's too loud, let me know. So, what's going on, y'all? I decided we are going to do some uh, art today. Let's see, let me lower the music a little bit, because my levels are like, aren't where I want them. And thank you for looking, appreciate it. So, <clears throat> it has been a while. So long that I don't think my stuff is set up to where I used to have it. <laughs> so let's see here. That looks okay. Got my pencil, layer, and all that good stuff. All right. So today, um, I'm actually going to be drawing somebody from Guar. Um, anybody out there who knows Guar, and if you don't, you better fucking know who Guar is. We're going to draw a ball sack. The Jaws Death. Um, they're so animated in the first place, this shouldn't be very hard. <laughs> so, we're gonna do that. So let me get my reference stuff up and we can start. Up. My problem is, I don't know what direction I'm gonna draw him in. I'm not sure if I even wanna use that size to the sketch. You know, I'm gonna do 1080 by 1080. I want it to be a square. For some reason, me personally, if I'm drawing on a tablet, I know it's a rectangle, but I feel better when I'm drawing on a square. I don't know what it is. So one of these days, my plan is to get another arm. Um, I'm hoping I can smack it over here next to my laptop so it can come overhead because I do have another camera. And then we can start doing pencil and uh, paper. And I know I've said that in the past, but life. <laughs> so let's see. Um, his head's like a big square, kind of, but I don't know what direction I want him to look. Nah, that's too much. It's too big. Hmm, I'm starting to think I might have sh I should have probably used the uh, other size actually. Oh, you know what? Let's do 1920 by 1920. Let's do that. 1920. There we go. A little bit bigger. Actually, I might need to lay the tablet down. I don't necessarily need my cover to draw. But, uh, yeah, so let's see here. Because I would like to get some shoulders into this. While still doing the horns, but I don't feel like I'm going to be able to. Because well, Goro fits are goddamn huge. Um, yeah, that ain't going to work either. Let's do pre-selected page. Let's do, okay, this is pissing me off. Where is, yeah, pin mode's on, so why is it detecting when I, yeah, it shouldn't be touching, so it shouldn't be doing that. Uh, okay, let's see here. Oh, 
I don't want 2k, that's too damn big. Um, let's go 5-7. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that might work. Alright, let's lay down some base shapes, because this dude's head is freaking weird. Ah! This thing is doing all kinds of shit I don't want it to do there. Also, I'm trying to get another tablet. Okay. We'll go ahead and use the anchor. shapes down. As much as I'd like to get some shoulder in there, that just ain't gonna happen. Because <laughs> ultimately, I know y'all have seen me draw before on the tablets and stuff. Um, I'm still not completely comfortable drawing on a tablet, so. This will just have to work. So I'm hoping eventually I'll be able to get the, um, tab the not the tablet, but you know, the other arm and stuff. Let's see if I can move this over, because usually I can't. Don't do that. Yeah, that could work either. So let's see, I want to say he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's about 7 teeth, top and bottom, I want to say. So we got 1, two. One big one, then like 2 on the side, so... But I drew it at such a weird angle, it's not going to look right. Come on. I guess... Let's just do it from a... Just a straight up... There we go. We'll just do it looking straight at the page. It'll probably be a lot easier.
Yeah, it's fine. That line doesn't have to be symmetrical. Lock it down because that's its own layer. So that way I can take off the line whenever I want to. Hell, the horns I should have done mirrored. You know what? I'm going to do that. You know, the uh, cheater way of drawing things symmetrical. <laughs>
Happy UI since when? I don't like that. Oop. Wow, it's erasing lines when I do the three that it tells me to. Fuck that shit. <laughs> or actually... See, I'm not telling it to do that. It's just deleting shit when it wants now. Fantastic. I may have drawn them in symmetrically, but that was just a guy. Now I can break them up and make them look more bent and torn up. That's cool. Okay, it's not looking too bad. I don't get that. I have it on uh, pen mode so it won't recognize my hand, but for some reason it, it still is. I don't understand what the hell's going on with it. And I gotta start working on the detail, the teeth, and all that stuff.
interesting because now I can just turn the line off. There we go. That's the whole point of that line. See how thick of lines do we want to do? I'm gonna go with three. Like you know, kind of, kind of, somewhat thick. No, that's not thick enough. Let's do four. There we go. Okay, we are gonna use predictive so that way it can kind of keep it clean. Don't know where I should start. Whoa, got my pin. Actually, let's turn off predictive and just see what happens. Do that because it's kind of like his hair. We'll kind of make that a little messy. And then uh, I'll try to keep the other lines a little cleaner. I'm trying 
do I not go crazy? Like, I kind of wanted a little bit messy, but not like excessive amounts of messy, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. source.
was getting there. <laughs> What are we on? Four? Shrop down to like two and put some like smudgy kind of kind of like small details and stuff. Damn. So my first run was by hand. I didn't... I don't recall doing the teeth symmetrically. And, um... I just used the symmetrical tool right now, and they actually... I did them pretty straight. Actually didn't come out too, too bad. But, I do want to use the tool here. to line them up because even even the costume itself like the jaw doesn't line up like perfectly all the time so I mean that works but what I want is it to be off like just a tiny bit and then I'm gonna go in and start doing the same thing that I did up top I'm gonna start putting like lines and all that kind of choppy stuff in there
Okay, I guess the album ended. Did I listen to all that already? I sure as hell did. Okay. Uh, what next? I guess Maximum Carnage. Yeah, it's the Super Nintendo version, though. It's a little bit better. It's like one of the few times, as far as like video game music goes, I prefer uh, Super Nintendo over Sega. I don't know what idea my neighbor's dog is barking at. <laughs> He's doing those real heavy, like, real, you know. Um, I guess the best way I can describe it is bawling, just like real hard, real low <laughs> bellows and shit over there, you know. No clue what he's barking at.
I forgot how bad this is on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Tablet shifted. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. If I follow it the way I was supposed to... You know what? That actually might work. Let's see here. I, I, I honestly think it's going to work. So you see where the blue is. So everything shifted over a tiny bit. By everything shifting over, I can now do this. That fixes the alignment on that side. And then over here... It just looks like his head's turned a little bit. Perfect. There we go. And yeah, that lined up pretty nicely. Okay, so I'm going to go back, see if I can do this.
go. Doing white contrast against black like that is royal pain in the ass. <laughs> but I think it'll be worth it. Actually, let me drop that down because I thinned out the other line, so I might as well drop it down to two. So let's see. Yep. That's what's missing on these bottom teeth. All right, let's see here. I knew I was forgetting something. That looks a lot better. <laughs> the The bottom jaw was just too flat, and that was freaking me out a little bit.
There we go. That that's a lot better. <laughs> this music is like, what the fuck? Did that end already too? It sure did. Let's see here. Let's do some X-Bands. Yeah, he's getting there.
Yeah, he is coming along. Okay. Damn, I've been going an hour 11 already? <laughs> okay, shit. All right. I will be back. Give me a minute. I kind of need to move a little bit. and I forget how much this actually does, like, kind of hurt my neck and things like that. I don't have the best setup for drawing, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I will be right back in just a few minutes, y'all. Hang tight. Okay, and we're back. So, a little stretch in here. Of course, it doesn't do much. <laughs> so, let's see here. Damn, we already went an hour 18-ish. I'll work on this a little more. And then I believe Wednesday actually have scheduled for us to do more art. So, we'll continue working on this. Um... You know into the week uh let's see here i just noticed this line does not need to be there There you go, just so we can see that a little better. Alright, so I think I need to do... Kind of the same thing I did up top. Like this over here. Here, I'm going to circle it with red and I'll get rid of it. Kind of like this section right here. I kind of need to do the shading there. Um, like I, but down here. Uh, let's see here. I did about two teeth there. Almost started coloring in red. <laughs> Okay, see, because we're going to do that. Go do that. Whoa. <laughs> see what I mean? Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, say, like, I, I don't know why the hand gestures are still on. I just can't turn them off and it's making everything kind of a pain in the ass. Do that. Fill that in. Turn off the brush. Do this. Go back to white. I should be doing this on separate layers, but that's just not how I roll. <laughs> There we go. Hey Leslie, what's up? I don't know. I don't I don't do that. I I never have. The entire time since you met me in art class in high school, fucking I haven't done that. <laughs> like, see over here on the left side? I'll do it for, say if I need like, this red line to, to do kind of symmetry kind of stuff, to keep things in line, I'll do that. 
I'll keep my pencils on a separate layer. But when it's inking, I'll do all of it the same layer. <laughs> all inking and uh, shadows go in the same layer. Which I know you shouldn't do, but that's just the way I do things. <laughs> I know it's like brutal but that's how I've always drawn and done things like that I don't uh, I never bother with the other layers like I should um I don't know why. I just I make it harder on myself, but that's just how I've always done things. I mean, that's really coming along nicely. <laughs> I actually think I'm going to do this side a little different. I'm going to do studs over here. I don't know why. I guess because I want a little bit of contrast. Because double spikes, like two bands of spikes, you know, one in each horn. That's how he actually wears the costume. But I I personally want studs on that side. And I'm the one fucking drawing it, so I'm going to put studs. <laughs> There we go. So I'll leave that like this for now. It's coming along. So next time I'll do the other horn. I'll work on some more shading and detail and stuff like that. Um, we got to figure out what we're going to do with the shoulders because I kind of want to, you know, do his. Uh, let's lock that down. Go back to this layer. That. Get my pencil out. 
Uh, yeah, because he does have, like, crazy-ass fucking shoulder pads, because that's what Gore does. <laughs> but he's also got his, uh, crazy little, uh, like, Gore logo-looking little dude, like, necklace. So, I get... You know, I'm gonna sketch that area. We'll just sketch him in for now. Hey, everybody. And we're back. We're going to be doing some more art. I know yesterday on the Silent Hill 2 stream, I said we were going to play Silent Hill today, but I totally forgot I had to I had a scheduled for, um, to do, um, to finish drawing. Or try to finish drawing. So here we are. And either way, as you can tell by the title and the notice, we have an IgG cast today. I'm having severe body pains and all that shit, but I still want to hang out and draw. So here we are. Got a bit of a headache running down my neck, but it's alright. I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm writing down my actual like audio levels and stuff, so that way when I switch scenes and levels and things like that I can actually adjust things properly like really fast and I have to worry about leveling things out all right so where the hell were we I was gonna do this horn over here I was gonna put studs on it instead of spikes and then I think I'm actually gonna go back and redo his hair which shouldn't be too hard because I've only done this top part um, so it should be okay. It shouldn't be too hard to do. All right, so let's see here. Actually, do his horns. So I just did straight lines. I didn't do any swirls or nothing. I just don't know how thick that is. Okay, it's two.
That's all right. Because you turn off the pencil. Pretty solid. All right, so what the fuck are we going to do about his hair? Let's see here. Because I know... I need some reference. Because we're going to change his hair. We're going to do it the, like the original way he had it in the 90s. So he's got like these little kind of half dread things going on. So let me see here. These fan arts are weird. There's a lot of fan art that I've seen that they basically give him a jerry curl. It just looks really weird. Hmm. All right, so I think I'm going to have to wing this. I grabbed an actual pin. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is why people freak out when I say I don't do, uh, like, a ton of layers. Because stuff like this happens, and it's like, I'm like, I personally don't mind. Can always go in and fix it. That light can stay. Okay, so we got fresh canvas for hair. Let's see. I'm gonna lock that down and go back to pencil. So let's do kind of this here, I guess.
That might work out a little bit better. Just the other hair looked a little too loose and like almost as if he's a damn wrestler <laughs> or something like that. It's got that really wet hair going on. Try to decide if this is what I want to go with. That's locked. Okay. I'll make sure I'm keeping track of my layers and stuff. There's been times where I'll mess up and um, on accident I'll have like half the line work on a different layer <laughs> than it should be. Too many damn sticky notes on this table. Okay.
There we go. That's looking better. The hair before, like, yeah, it was slicked back and everything, but it just didn't look right. I really wish this app I'm using, Sketchbook, for the brush thickness would let me actually just type it. it. Actually, won't let you. You have to do a slider. Sometimes I'm too shaky and I can't really get it perfect the way I want it.
Okay. So that's looking good. I'm thinking I need to do... The little, like, crazy looking guar face necklace. I need to do that, and then I will color the jaws in. But I want to make sure... I get the face right, because that... The reference I have... is okay, but, uh, it's okay, but I could use something more definitive. to make my life difficult. <laughs> Let's see if I can just snag the image. Yes, I can. All right, there we go. Okay, so that one's a little different, but I like it. my best here. I may have to change it up a little bit. Okay, this is going to be a little tougher to do.
Well, he's looking pretty cool. I mean, it's Guar. It's supposed to be kind of comic booky and cartoonish. And I, that's pretty much what his necklace looks like. <laughs> I just kind of changed it up a little tiny bit to fit the drawing. do to this so I gotta clean it up let's change up the music Yeah, we can do that. MK1 Sega Genesis music. Because the soundtrack is different than the arcade. I think that'll cover it.
Yeah, we'll do Vector Man. There we go. Okay, so let's try doing the jaws. Because I gotta get some gray in here. All right, then we go a little bit lighter. Our light source is on the right side, so 
these teeth get to be lighter on the inside.
There we go, because our light source is the other way. See, I can now paint those teeth. I can either do them this color. Or I can do them this way. I'll probably do it this way to make it pop. Yeah, here we go. That way we got more shadow. And I know that's super light, but maybe I should do this. Let me see how this contrasts against things. Yeah, that's basically me mixing that gray almost to perfection by eye. <laughs> almost. But it's a little bit too dark. Weird, right? How this shade on this looks like this, but it looks like that on that. <laughs> Ooh, color theory. Um, I want to do here. Let's erase that little section, and we'll test it out here. Here, here, and here. Yeah, we're gonna leave it that color.
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's take out the pencil. There we go. Ugh. I need a better setup for drone. <laughs> it's really hard to do this like this on this tiny tablet. Look, let me show you how big this thing is. That's it. It's it's really small compared to. <laughs> yeah, I think my Amazon one's bigger. Not by much. But the plan is one of these days I'm gonna get like a good size one for drawing. Because I could get one of those. Um... I don't even know what the hell you call them. Like a Wacom tablet kind of thing, but I've never been really good with those. I need to see what I'm drawing, and as I'm drawing, I need to see its input. I can't, I can't look straight and draw. That I can't do, because it looks like a the Wacom tablet stuff is a lot of that. All right, I think we're done with this, honestly. I mean, that looks pretty solid. If I turn this, it'll break it. Yeah. It's there we go. Yeah, I like how that came out. I just don't want to do the other stuff because I put line work into it. So if I color the other stuff, it's going to fuck up my line work. <laughs> so yeah. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. I know it's a shorter stream, but I'm just exhausted. But everybody have a good one. Keep an eye out. Maybe tomorrow we'll do some Exo Prime or something to chill. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Everybody have a good one. And I'll catch y'all later.